Communications presents the Midwest's number one independent computer repair company with service centers in Lincoln, Omaha, Papillion, Des Moines, and across the country via the Schrock desk. This is Compute This. Good morning, folks, and welcome into Compute This. My name is Thor Schrock. I'm the owner of the Schrock Innovations Computer Company. Like the big voice man there says, we got service centers all over the place. I mean, they're just popping everywhere. We got Lincoln, 15th, and uh, we're just south of... I have to be careful. I had somebody call me on this before. Just south of 15th and Pine Lake Road. In Omaha, 168th and Burke. Across the street from the Village Point Mall, where the rent used to be slightly cheaper. I don't know how mall rent is anymore. I mean, malls are vacant, right? Uh, not Village Point, though. Have you noticed that? Like, you go to West Road, you go to any of the other malls, you know, you go to Oakview, and there's, like, all these bays that are empty. And then you go to, you know, Village Point, and it's like... You can't find it. You can go to Shadow Lake and there's empty bays, but not Village Point. I don't know. So maybe the rents, maybe the rent got cheaper over there. I don't know. Maybe I should look into it. Uh, also in Papillion, 84th and Highway 370, uh, just uh, just basically uh, across the street from the brand new shiny jail. That's right. <laughs> the the uh, the sheriff's department was giving tours of the jail, or the corrections department saying, "Come come get a tour of the jail. The only time you'll want to come in and see the place." <laughs> it's like hmm. I didn't make it for that one. Uh, also in Des Moines, West Des Moines, Iowa, uh, 9500 University Avenue, where we can help you out with your computer needs. If it breaks, if it, the data, if the hard drive stops working, the data needs to come back, or you just have simple questions and problems. A lot of, a lot of times, people think, you know, well, I have to bring my computer into Schrock if something goes wrong with it. You know, if you don't know how to do something with the computer that you're trying to do with with it, if you have a tool. I mean, even Lowe's does this, right? I mean, you have a tool, you don't really know how to use it. You come in for like the Lowe's tool demonstration day and then all of a sudden you're like you know i can remove this tile now it's great you know same thing with your computer if you're having trouble figuring something out we have shop shops full of guys and gals that will help you figure it out and sometimes we don't know how to do it like you'll call in and say my brother's keeper genealogy software is only uh, displaying pictures wide instead of tall and we're like brothers who like we've never dealt with brothers keeper their their company is bankrupt like oh my gosh how are we going to fix this but well, we dig into it and we figure it out because that's what we do at Schrock. We do things that other shops and other places either can't do or don't want to do. And it's becoming, uh, I don't know, the demand for the service is coming, is coming up because other computer repair shops are falling by the wayside. They're deciding, you know, these consumers are too much trouble to deal with. We'd rather just have fat businesses that give us big checks once a month for doing pretty much nothing um, rather than having, you know, all these, you know, bothersome deplorables coming in here all the time. So, uh, you know, at Schrock, we love you deplorables. You're great. <laughs> 402-558-1110-888-250-2091 of the numbers to join us on the program. Uh, last week on the program, we told you that they were almost out of time to uh, qualify to win that free laptop. Officially this week, you are like within days of being out of time. We're going to talk about that in a second. Uh, Safe Upgrade is selling super fast. In fact, we're going to talk about that as well. The city of New York last week banned TikTok for security reasons. Uh, Drive Advisor is detecting more failed hard drives than ever. And that's not a, a plug for Drive Advisor, guys. That's a uh, that's not like, hey, we're doing so good. We, we found all these bad drives. No, it's please test your hard drive because 15% of the hard drives that we test are bad. Just yesterday, I had somebody, uh, I forget the customer's name, plug in an external hard drive to their computer, and it went boop, and it said, it couldn't even give it a drive letter. It said drive NA, like drive not available, was bad. So <laughs> it wasn't even working well enough to give it a drive letter, but it said, oh, this is bad. Uh, so Drive Advisor can test all your internal drives, your external drives. New version coming out real soon here. It's in beta testing right now. It's looking real good so far. So uh, a lot of good things to report there. Uh, so definitely check that out. Also, we shared some cool stories from the Data Recovery Center uh, doing some work with some uh, uh, Apple MacBooks that have uh, integrated memory on the motherboard. Those are always fun to recover. So fun stuff there. Now, I did mention just a moment ago that uh, your time was almost up to win that free laptop. Perhaps you've been gone for a while and you're wondering, what is this free laptop that Thor is speaking about? Well, it's an Intrepid laptop. It's our mid-range laptop that we sell every day in the service centers for $800. So it's not a schlub laptop. It's a really nice system. And we're giving one away for free. And all you have to do to qualify to win this is vote for Schrock in the Best of Lincoln competition. Now, we made life really easy for you because you have to do it through our site. You know, we don't know who you vote for. 
Okay, so you could you could say, hey, I voted for I voted you know in Best of Lincoln, and I did it through Schrock's site, so I qualify to win. And maybe I'd said this other shop was the best one in town, and not not Schrock Innovations. But what always gets me is that every year in Lincoln, Best Buy wins. They take the top spot. Now the top three in Lincoln are considered Best of Lincoln, so we can still say we are one of the Best of Lincoln. Okay, one of the three. Um, so it always irks me, irked that Best Buy beats us every year. Why do they beat us? Is it because Best Buy is doing something that we're not doing? Is it because Best Buy cares more about their customers? Is it because Best Buy's employees are genuinely more considerate and helpful than, than Schrock's employees are? Or maybe is it just brand recognition? People think computers and Best Buy. Go into a Best Buy. When's the last time you've been into a Best Buy? Take a look around. See how many computers there are in there. There ain't that many anymore. You know, so I want to beat Best Buy desperately, and I really need your help to do it, Okay. <laughs> So I'm willing to give away a laptop. So if you can go to schrockinnovations.com, there's the uh, scrolling banner with media pictures that are super duper old that I need to like, we need to do some more TV. We haven't done TV in a long time, so I can get some more, uh, some more media banners on there that are newer. Uh, but uh, basically you scroll down below that. There's a black box. You click on the box, takes you to the contest. There's other things that you can do to win. So maybe you already entered this contest by voting in the best of Omaha. Best of Omaha voting is now closed. You can vote in Best of Lincoln and get additional entries in the contest. So you can do both and literally double your chances to win. So check that out at schrockinnovations.com. Uh, Best of Lincoln voting ends on the 30th. So that is, uh, if you're listening live to the program, live Sunday mornings at 7, by the way. Uh, that is uh, the 31st, excuse me. So that's this coming Thursday. you got four days. Four days left to do it before uh, game over. And then we get to draw the winner, and we will announce the winner live on Compute This the following Sunday so that you guys know we're actually giving away a laptop. 402-558-1110, 888-250-2091. As we do every week, we'll be giving away a $25 Schrock Innovations gift certificate to one lucky person who calls in, asks a question, makes a comment. Generally just part of the show. You know, the callers make the show. I can talk for an hour pretty easily. I do it all the time on the After Schrock. Uh <laughs> Like talking to myself, except there's comments I can answer. Uh, speaking of comments, we are live at facebook.com slash Schrock Innovations. That's facebook.com slash Schrock Innovations, where you can watch your radio if you prefer. It's much more entertaining than watching the uh, the device. You know, you can actually watch something on the uh, on the screen rather than just the, the radio box or sitting in your car staring at the numbers and 11, you know, right there on the dashboard. You can't stare at them. But uh, we have a number of people who join us over here in Schrockville uh, for, the, uh, for the Compute This program on Facebook. Feel free to check us out there. want to also welcome uh, viewers and listeners from WHO in Des Moines. Uh, we are now cross-posting onto Des Moines' Facebook page, too, for WHO Radio. So one thing I will point out real quick is that when we do these Facebook broadcasts, I can see the comment stream at facebook.com slash Schrock Innovations. If you're on any of the other stations and you, on their streams, you're, you're in like a subset of comments. I don't see your comments. After the show, I go back and look and see if there was anything there I needed to answer, but I can't see them in real time. So if you want to interact with Schrockville, you have to go to facebook.com slash Schrock Innovations, or you can just pick it up on any of the radio stations that you want to listen to it on. Uh, so, man, it was a... Uh, Best of Lincoln is going on right now. Coming up on the program, also, we're going to tell you a little bit about Safe Upgrade. I don't want to beat that like a dead horse, but uh, that is also coming due, and we are more than 50% sold out in only two weeks, which is a record, considering especially it's only applicable to customers that have Windows 11. So if you have Windows 10, you do not need Safe Upgrade this time because there are no more upgrades for Windows 10. You're getting no new features, no new benefits. You're getting the same Windows 10 going forward with security patches until October of 2025, at which time you'll have to make some decisions. Uh, but if you have Windows 11, huge security update coming. We're going to talk about that. Also, you may have been hearing a little bit come rumblings. September is usually the month that uh, iPhone, that Apple releases information about their products, like especially iPhone. And there's some rumors that the iPhone 15 might change the, the charging port. So if you have a lot of those lightning cables laying around, maybe you can get rid of them because they're going to go to USB-C. And everyone was super excited because... USB-C is faster than the lightning cable. It, it can move data faster. It can charge faster. Well, maybe. Apple might have a couple of caveats, asterisks, and little crosses to put after that. Uh, so we're going to tell you about that coming up on the program. Uh, you might remember uh, a month ago, Netflix changed its password sharing policies, and uh, they made it very difficult 
for you to share your Netflix password with a family member or somebody in a different household. Instead, you could pay like $8 more a month and add them to your account so they can have their own login. And as a result, uh, Netflix, a lot of people predicted Netflix would lose subscribers because they're going to lose eyeballs because, you know, the grandma can't get on Netflix anymore because grandma doesn't want to pay eight bucks to get her account because Social Security cost of living increase is going to be meager this year. So she's got to cut somewhere. She's going to cut her Netflix. Well, the opposite happened. Their, ex their subscribership exploded higher. Revenue exploded higher. It was such a success that now Disney is not only going to raise the price of Disney Plus and Hulu by 30 percent, but they're also going to ban password sharing just like Netflix did because it works so well for Netflix. How is it working out in month two, though? We're going to go there. Yeah, the numbers are a little different in month two. And we're going to tell you about that coming up on the program. And also the uh, just some a couple quick mentions. I mentioned the uh, Facebook page. We're on uh, we're on the KFAB Facebook page. We're on the WHO Facebook page. Uh, we're working on getting on the KFOR Facebook page as well, uh, getting through all the hoops that we have to do to get on there. Once we're on these Facebook pages, guys, if you comment on the radio station Facebook pages, I can't see the comments in real time. So forgive me if I don't respond. But uh, for those of you who are commenting at Facebook.com slash Rock Innovations, I do try to respond during the commercial breaks there for you. 402 558 Two five zero two zero nine one. If you're interested in winning that twenty five dollars Schrock Innovations gift certificate, there. Now I mentioned Safe Upgrade was selling out pretty quick. Uh, we're two weeks into the promotion this year. This year is a little bit different. There is only one major upgrade coming for Windows eleven. So in a in a world of inflationary things, Microsoft cut the number of large updates in half to only destroy your computer once a year instead of twice a year. You might recall last week. I was unable to remote into my computer, <laughs> into my show prep, because I was like, oh, one of these, I have the, uh, I got another version, by the way, uh, yesterday, last night, and you better believe I tested it this morning. Um, another feature upgrade, I am in the developer channel, so I get all the little stepping stones along the way to the final product that you guys are going to get. Last week, if you were listening to the program, I had to fly without a net because guess what? The update killed my computer. Killed my computer. How dare you? I had to go home and roll it back and Try again, and it went through fine the second time. But if you don't know how to do that, you're bringing your computer into Schrock for an hour, two hours of labor to have us fix it. So this, this problem happens. It seemingly happens to the same people every time. And people started to get really upset because every time Microsoft pushes out one of these big upgrades, it was costing them $200 plus to get their computer up and running for the free update with features they really didn't ask for and really didn't want anyway. I know you all want your AI assistant, which is one of the features coming to Windows 11. It's basically chat GPT right down there in the, in the task bar. Um, I know you're, you're eager to get that, but, you know, $200? Come on. So we came up with Safe Upgrade. And Safe Upgrade is basically a way to install these updates the same way that we would do it in the service center. We don't let Microsoft install the update for us in the service center. It takes too long. It takes too long to download. It takes too long to install. And it's unreliable. So what we do instead is we have flash drives that have the complete full update and we plug that drive in, install the update, everything is great, everything is awesome, we get your computer back really fast. So after we had so many people upset with Microsoft and coming into us, and you can't really yell at Microsoft, you can, but it's not very fulfilling, you know? But when you come into Schrock, there's a human being there, a flesh and blood bag of bones that you can just scream at. And it's, it's amazing. You can yell at them. You can, and you're not mad at them. You're just taking it out on them. It's like, you know, when Hastings Ford in Hastings, Nebraska told me they wouldn't sell me the Dark Horse model because I'm in Papillion. Um, you know, I was a little angry about that, but I let it go after I made a dealer complaint to Ford.com. I let it go, um, you know, but you, you just... You get a little irked and you want to you want to take it out on somebody, but you know, there's no one there. So you end up taking it out on somebody. that's not really their fault, you know? So that was happening to our staff and it was like, and our customers were upset and we don't like that situation. We don't like that dynamic of having customers that are not happy with their technology. It is the antithesis of what we do at Schrock. So we came up with safe upgrade, which is an automated piece of software that installs this update the exact same way we do in the service center, checks the same things that we check in the service center, and then gives you a warranty. So if, even after all of that, something goes sideways, you have a warranty at Schrock that you're, we're going to get your computer back up and running for you and it's not going to cost you 200 bucks. How much does this wonderful piece of software cost? It's $59.99. You need one copy for each Windows 11 computer that you have. You might notice $59.99 is the same price it's been since pre-pandemic. 
how many things are the same price as they are since pre-pandemic? You know, we probably are going to have to raise this next year at some point, but right now this year is like there's enough there's enough things going up in price. Microsoft's giving you a little bit of a break cuz you only have one update to deal with. So we kept the price at 59.99 this time around. You can pick up a copy for each of your Windows 11 computers at schrockinnovations.com. You don't have to do anything today, you just have to reserve your copy. And then when it's time to run it, we will actually will communicate with you. We will email you. We will call you. We will text message you. All of those things will happen. There will be smoke signals that come up over the hill. I mean, you're going to know it's time to run it. And then you run it. Some people have said, well, it says on the website, Thor, you have to run it within 24 hours of the update. That's so you don't get the update automatically pushed to your computer. We don't want you to become a victim because it got pushed down to you. So if you're on vacation or you're not home, just turn your computer off before you leave. And then you're not going to get the update because, you know, your computer's off. And then when you get home, you can turn on the computer, run the update. Works out really nicely. We've thought of it all over at Schrock Innovations, let me tell you. This year's software is brand new. It's going to download faster. It's, good. it's more reliable. It's going to have a higher success rate, fewer Schrock desk calls. Um, it's, it's really going to be a, a, a nice piece of software this year. We've already uh, been playing around and beta testing that as well. It's kind of slowed to the development of Drive Advisor a little bit because we've been doing two things at one time. But uh, we can walk and chew gum at the same time. We just have to slow down when we take our steps a little bit. 402-558-1110, 888-250-2091. We're going to take the first break of the program here, guys. When we come back, though, the iPhone 15 is reportedly is rumored to be coming with USB-C ports instead of lightning ports. What does that mean for how they're going to charge and what the data transfer rates are going to be? Because we all use cables to transfer data off our iPhones. I don't think... When's the last time you ever cabled up an iPhone to transfer something off of it? Can you even do that anymore? Well, anyway, the charging speed is what we all want to know about, and we're going to tell you about it coming up next on Compute This. Today's fragile computers need maintenance more than ever. Your computer needs a maintenance checkup every six months to last beyond its 18-month expected lifespan. Every person listening to this broadcast has either experienced data loss or knows someone who has. When you think about it, you have a lot more data stored in many more places than you'd like to admit. Have you downloaded those videos from your phone, backed up the pictures on your iPad, or even tackled that sometimes daunting task of backing up your entire computer's hard drive? Most people just don't back up their stuff. And that's why Schrock Innovations has one of the most advanced data recovery centers in the Midwest. Equipped with the latest DDI data imaging devices, state-of-the-art custom recovery software, and Omaha's best data recovery technicians, Schrock Innovations has a 96.8% success rate when recovering data from damaged hard drives, flash drives, camera cards, and more. We all know we should back up our data, but if you are ever caught in a data loss nightmare, call the experts at Schrock Innovations to get your data back right where it belongs, safe and backed up on a stable hard drive. Compute this Pro Tip 299. There are enough mothballed computers in U.S. homes to give one to every man, woman, and child in the country. Many of these computers find their way into landfills where they can leak cadmium, lithium, and other nasty chemicals into the groundwater. Schrock Innovations is very proud of the fact that we recycle more e-waste every year than we create. You can drop off any old or broken computer equipment to our service centers at any time, free of cost. We only charge $15 just for monitors because they are especially difficult to process. No appointment is required, and we accept all computer-related equipment like printers, keyboards, speakers, and accessories. Additionally, the rare earth elements in computers can be recycled right here in the U.S. to reduce our reliance on supplies from foreign countries. Take a moment, drop off your old computer equipment today, and Schrock will make sure it's properly recycled and put to good use right here in the U.S. This pro tip brought to you by Schrock Innovations Computer Company. All righty, guys, welcome back into Compute This. My name is still Thor Schrock, and I'm still, as of the last I've heard, the president of the Schrock Innovations Computer Company. So, uh, yay me. But uh, we're here to help you out with your technology stuff. 402-558-1110, 888-250-2091. Those are the numbers you can join us on the program. Take your stab at a $25 Schrock Innovations gift certificate. We just put it in your Schrock account, and then you can use it for whatever you want, whenever you want. It, comes, it works out really nicely. All right, so... The I've a lot of people think, okay, people think I hate Best Buy. I don't hate Best Buy. People think I hate Apple products. I don't hate Apple products. Best Buy refers us more customers than anyone else in town because the, the poor guys that work there aren't allowed to fix anything. And gals, they're not allowed to fix anything. 
They have to. They're, they're required to send it back to HP. They're required to send it to Apple. They're required to send it here or there. And it's like it's a simple fix that they know how to. They can. They Google tells them how to fix it. It's one screw and a ribbon cable, and they're just not allowed to do it. So they send them across the street to Schrock, and we fix their stuff, and customers are happy. Uh, so I love Best Buy. I just want to beat them in the best of Lincoln. That's all. And you can vote for us. Go to SchrockInnovations.com. There's a little rotator there with all the media images. Right below that's a big black box. It's like win a free laptop. Click here. You, know, you, you can't miss it. Click there. And then you can enter the contest to win that laptop um, by voting in the best of Lincoln. But And I don't hate Apple products either. In fact, uh, you know, Apple products, we, we make more money fixing Apple products than anything else because have you, have you tried to get an appointment at the Apple store, at the Genius Bar, to get your stuff fixed? Make an appointment like a week ahead. Go in. Don't miss your appointment window by more than five minutes. The bouncer at the door may not let you in. They have a bouncer at the door. I am not joking. There is a, secure, a large security man at the front door. Very friendly, opens the door for you. But you also get the impression he could close the door on you, too. You know, <laughs> you're like, <laughs> I'm not going to steal anything. Uh, so you go in there and, you know, then you make your appointment, you wait, and they fix your stuff. And the guys there are very competent. They fix the stuff very well. But if you don't have, and you have to stay while they fix it, you can't leave it and come back. You have to stay in the building. So some people don't have time to do that. We, we have customers that actually pay us to go sit at, the Apple store for them. And we wear our Schrock shirts in there and we take a handful of three hour labor business cards with us. And you know, it's amazing. They get our stuff fixed so fast and get us the heck out of there. But now they got that bouncer guy. So I'm a little worried what's going to happen now. Maybe we're the reason they have the bouncer guy. I don't know. But uh, so I don't hate Apple. I don't hate Best Buy. But one of the things that customers have been frustrated with is if you have, if you're in a blended household, a lot of us have blended households now, you know, diversity is very important. And for example, I am an Android guy. And so I've got my USB-C chargers in the charging drawer. And my rest of my family, they're all Apple. They're all in the Apple ecosystem. So they've got lightning cables, except for the new iPads that also charge on USB-C. So, we, I mean, we got cables. We had to buy, like, the, you know, the six-inch cable. We have a charging drawer. There were so many cables in there, we couldn't see them straight. Got the little six-inch cables. It plugs in so nice now. Well, guess what? The European Union is forcing Apple to go USB-C for their charging cables. And so as a result, they're going to probably go across the board. You know, they're not going to make like the lightning version for the U.S. and then USB-C for the rest of the world. They're just going to make USB-C. Makes the most sense. USB-C has a faster uh, power transfer rate. You can charge faster with it. You can charge an entire laptop on a single USB port, not just an iPad or an iPhone. Um, it has a faster data transfer speed. In fact, the new Schrock uh, modular enclosures that we have, the, the external hard drives that we're getting, uh, USB 3.2, they are so ridiculous. It's like 40 gigabits a second. They are so fast. Back in, backups take like less time than ever now if you're using a USB-C port. All the new Schrock laptops now, including the Intrepid, that we're giving away for free if you vote in the best of Lincoln, comes with a USB-C port now. So, I mean, it's like everything is going this way. So the iPhone 15 is going to come with a USB-C port. The question is, how fast is it going to be? And here's the trick. Apple... Nobody knows yet, and Apple's going to probably announce this at their event that comes up here on the 12th. Um, like they do every year, they're going to release a whole bunch of information about their products and services. It's pretty widely expected that the USB-C port is going to be there, but unfortunately, the USB-C cable that comes with it is going to be a USB 2.0 cable. Now, this is something that a lot of people don't realize. When you go on Amazon and buy a USB-C cable, not all cables are the same. Don't buy the cheapest cable because you're getting a USB 2 grade cable. It can only transfer power at a limited range. It can only transfer data at a limited speed. You need to get a USB C rated cable or a really high end cable that Apple is calling USB C Thunderbolt. Now, the Thunderbolt cable will have faster charging speeds, and the Thunderbolt cable will have faster data transfer speeds, but the Thunderbolt cable doesn't come with the phone you see. Because this is Apple. They, they have to sell the accessory. They have to have something to sell. Like they have their own lightning cords. The reason they developed a special charging cord is so that you'd have to pay Apple every time you want a cord. Or that Apple could license OEM cords to other places. That's, you know, you don't get charging bricks anymore with your phones or devices. Because you're, you either have the people figure you have a charging brick or you're expected to go out and buy Apple's fast charging brick. And sometimes the phones and devices work best with the devices that are made by the companies, not the OEM equivalents. So the challenge we're going to see here, it's going to be interesting to watch with the iPhone 15, 
Are you going to get the faster speeds of USB-C, or are they going to pair it with a cheap cable? Now, granted, the cable's cheap, but it's longer, 1.6 meters, because that's we all had that problem charging our iPhones on a cable, you know, and one meter cable wasn't enough. You know, you get 1.6 meters, that extra, you know, half a meter is really going to make a difference in your life. Um, it'll be a longer cable, but it will be a cheaper cable. All right, 402 Felicia, welcome to the program. How can I help you uncompute this? I'm a new listener. Well, welcome. We're glad to have you. I have several files that I have backed up to an external drive. It happens to be Western Digital. I don't know if that matters. No, that's okay. How do I know if those files are good or if they've been corrupted without opening every single one? Great question. What utility are you using to do your backup? Um, I was just copying them over. I'm using Windows. Okay. So, unfortunately, if you're doing a manual backup like that, the only way to know if the files are good is to open each one. Now, I can tell you that if you're copying the files and they successfully copy, 99% chance you've got a solid backup. I mean, literally, you know, there, you know, there shouldn't be one file that's not right there. Now, the other thing that you can do is if you're using a Windows computer, Windows 10 and Windows 11 has a backup utility called File History. And the file history backup is nice because when you set up file history, you plug in that Western Digital external hard drive and you set it up as the file history drive. It's almost like with Apple and a time machine drive. It's the same concept. It backs up all of the files that are in your user folder. So your movies, your desktop, your documents, your pictures, your music, everything that would be in your user folder. So if you save stuff like on the C drive, that's not going to get backed up. You have to save it in your user folder because that's where you're supposed to put stuff. Then it'll back up automatically Whenever you plug in the Western Digital Drive, anything that's changed will back up again. And, and it keeps all the different versions of the file. So if you accidentally save over a file or override a file or have a file go corrupt, like what you're thinking could happen, um, you can just go back to the previous version of the file that was saved before that. And it, it keeps them on there. And then when it runs out of room on the drive, it starts using the uh, – uh, it eliminates the oldest one and uses that space to save new ones. So it works out really well. So, Felicia, when you have – a a backup drive like that, and you're doing those manual backups, God bless you for having backups. I just put a post up on uh, the Facebook page yesterday. Uh, we've got two Apple hard drives in the data recovery lab right now. Apple drives fail too, and uh, and they're getting their data recovered because the customers didn't have a time machine backup. Um, so we love that you're doing a backup. Um, if you want to do one that is monitored by Windows automatically, that would be the file history backup. Then you know if it was successfully completed. Then you know that all the files in your user folder, not just the ones you selected, but everything is backed up on that drive. And it can be easily restored. If something goes wrong and we have to reinstall Windows, we just restore those files and it puts everything back where it was originally. makes life a lot easier. So I would recommend using the file history backup. Um, that would probably simplify your life a little bit, and it gives you a, a report, basically, when it's done, letting you know that the backup was successful. Great. I'm glad to hear that. Thank you very much. Hey, no problem, Felicia. And if you need help setting up file history, it literally takes like two minutes over the phone. We don't even have to remote into your computer. Feel free to call into one of the service centers, and we're happy to walk you through it. Okay. I'll do that. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Have a great afternoon. 402-558-1110. It's that easy, guys. Felicia's got 25 bucks in her hand. Do you want to take it from her? 402-558-1110-888-250-2091. I am way late for my break, guys, so I'm going to take a break here, get a drink of water, maybe go to the bathroom. And then I encourage you to do the same. Winston, get Maggie some donuts. And then we'll see you again in just a few minutes for the next segment of Compute This. Schrock Innovations can't teleport technicians to you, but online help is only a click away with the Schrock Desk. Subscribe today and get unlimited help whenever you need it. Remember the good old days when virus detection worked like, where's Waldo? Spot the virus in the striped shirt and you win! Today's infections are changing hourly to avoid detection and use social engineering to trick you into making mistakes. Using yesterday's security to defend against today's threats is like using leeches to stop an infection. It just doesn't work. We recommend Sophos Intercept X, antivirus backed by Schrock's virus-free guarantee. Sophos uses the power of AI to detect the patterns of a virus attack and responds with Schrock's custom actions that stop it fast. With Sophos on your PC, Mac, Android, or iOS device, you get the state-of-the-art protection you need to defend against the most advanced attacks out there. In fact, if your device gets a virus while running Sophos antivirus, Schrock will remove it for free, guaranteed. It hasn't happened yet, and we intend to keep it that way. 
Ditch your dad's antivirus and keep your device, data, and identity safe with Sophos and Schrock Innovations. Compute this pro tip 843. Of all computer failures, the scariest and most expensive is the hard drive. But there are some steps you can take to save money and save your data before it's too late. Detecting failures early is important, so install a free utility like DriveAdvisor from driveadvisor.com to monitor your hard drive's health and receive warnings when there's a problem. But most of all, hard drive failures happen slowly, so early detection is key to reducing the repair bill. Second, if your hard drive makes any unusual noises, immediately turn off your computer and do not turn it on again. These issues are physical problems, and the more you try to use it, the worse the damage becomes. Remember that most computer repair shops do not have the specialized equipment needed to recover data from a failed drive. Never open your drive or allow anyone else to do so. Open drives always cost more to recover. Schrock does not charge for data recovery evaluations and quotes, so let the local pros look at your drive before you make any recovery decisions. This pro tip brought to you by Schrock Innovations Computer Company. Alrighty guys, hope you got your drinks refilled, your bathroom breaks in because halftime is over and we're back for the second half, plus or minus, of Compute This. <laughs> 402-558-1110-888-250-2091 if you want to win that $25 Schrock Innovations gift certificate. Uh, just a quick recap, guys. I mentioned if you want to win the Intrepid Laptop, go to schrockinnovations.com, scroll down to the black box underneath the, the rotator there. Click on that, and you can vote in the Best of Lincoln competition for Schrock Innovations for Best Computer Company. When you do that, as well as other, there are other actions there that you can take as well to increase your chances of winning. You can get more entries in the contest. Um, but we're going to be drawing that laptop on Thursday. So uh, if you want to win that thing, time is running out. You only got a few days left. In fact, by the time some of our stations hear this show, time will be up. So hopefully you're listening to the live show Sunday mornings at 7 or watching it at Facebook.com slash Schrock Innovations. 402-558-1110-888-250-2091. So you might remember it was kind of a, it was received with the fanfare that you would expect from, you know, the, the general public, but Netflix announced that they were going to start cracking down on people who were sharing their Netflix passwords. Um, they started off by, uh, they, they tested it out. And I don't know, why do they always test these things on Europeans and Canadians first? I don't know, those poor people. <laughs> they get everything tested on them. So... They went ahead and tested and said, okay, what happens if we make, for example, every time we know your IP address at your house, we know this is your login. And then all of a sudden this other household with a different IP address is consistently logging into your account. Maybe they have their own user and you know, username set up to track what they like to watch. And now we're going to take that. We're going to take Nana's user account and we're going to make Nana get a two factor code from her daughter every time she tries to log into Netflix. So it's going to get old. Like, she, you know, Nana's going to text her daughter, I need the two, what's the code? And daughter will tell her, I'm not home right now, or you can't watch right now. And then she, if she's home, she's like, I'm dealing with kids, or here's the code, you know, that kind of thing. And it, you have to do it every time you pick a show, every time. And so it gets a little old. So then Netflix said, okay, that, you know, we're inconveniencing people. It's not really causing people to subscribe. So instead, what they decided to do is basically just not let Nana watch Netflix at all, unless... The daughter adds Nana as a separate household subscriber for about eight bucks a month to her Netflix account. So you have your Netflix account, which is like twelve or fifteen bucks a month if you get commercial free and you know multi device and everything else. Or nineteen, I think ours is nineteen dollars a month for Netflix. Um, and then because that way the kids can have it on the iPad going while we're watching a show or whatever. And then it was another eight bucks a month to add Nana. So literally almost a fifty percent price increase. Let's call it forty percent. I haven't done the math, but a forty percent price increase. Uh, which is still cheaper than Nana having her own account, right? And viewer, the, the subscription rates exploded higher for Netflix. They made so much more money. It was ridiculous. So Netflix is making tons of money. The number of subscribers, which uh, officials predicted was going to go down, the eyeballs were going to go down. They might make more money, but they'll have fewer eyeballs. Actually, the eyeballs went up or stayed the same because everybody who was watching you know, it's eight bucks a month to make Nana happy. Who's what kid wouldn't spend eight dollars a month to make their mom happy, right? So, well, maybe maybe there's a few of you out there, but so most most kids would spend eight dollars a month to make mama happy, and so the eight bucks a month, and so Netflix saw huge revenues, huge eyeballs. I mean, it was great. It was so good that Disney came out with their dismal earnings. Bob Iger's trying to turn that that ship around from what JPEG did to it, and they're saying, well, you know, our Disney Plus subscribers are falling off a cliff. Maybe it's because you don't have any good content on there anymore, any new content. You know, if you want to watch old Disney movies that you already have on DVD, 
well, then you can go get Disney Plus. Uh, or, you know, you can maybe come out with some decent content and put it on there. So anyway, Disney Plus subscribers falling off a cliff. Disney says, well, okay, we need more revenue. So obviously the thing to do when you're losing subscribers is to make the ones that are loyal to you pay 30% more. So we're going to raise the price 30%, not just for Disney Plus, but also for Hulu. And then we're also going to enforce password crackdowns because it works so well for Netflix. I bet we could get a lot of these subscribers back. Uh, so the first month that Netflix did it, it was a, it was banner. It was the biggest U.S. growth that Netflix has ever seen. Now, you got to remember, Netflix is pretty much saturated in the United States. If they want growth now, they have to pretty much go overseas because they're they're. Anyone in the U.S. that needs Netflix or wants Netflix pretty much has Netflix. Everybody wanted to watch Stranger Things, okay? And they just forgot to cancel after that. So then how did it work out in month two? Numbers are out for month two. And once again, surprisingly, massive uptick in viewership and subscribers and revenue. Not as big as last month, about 70%. But still a huge increase. So Disney might be onto something here. So if you are one of the uh, the stock pickers, I think Disney had a new low, a new fifty two week low last week on their stock price. If you're uh, if you're looking for stock advice, you might have a couple shares of Disney on the cheap because if they do implement these things and turn that ship around and get subscribers up on Disney Plus, you think you know what that's going to do to their stock price. Four zero two five five eight eleven ten eight 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 two five zero two zero nine one. Kathy, welcome to the program. How can I help you uncompute yeah. this? Uh, I had a question. We had a couple of power outages down here in the last week, uh-huh. and I'm wondering how that's going to affect my the downloads for the the updates for Windows 11. Gotcha. So right now what's happening is Microsoft is still putting the finishing touches on some of the components for those downloads. So they're downloading pieces of this update every day to your computer, small pieces. They get saved in the background. They only use a little bit of your Internet connection to do it. The idea is that way... When it's time, when Microsoft decides it's time to launch this update for everybody, they push a button and everyone's computer already has the download and it just goes, ooh, and it runs. Um, so that's the idea anyway. And then Microsoft can just, they don't have to download it to millions and millions of computers around the world in the same day, which would be hard to do because they've, they've done it over the previous months. Um, and that's one of the reasons why we're getting close to the final version right now. I just got a new one yesterday. I installed on my computer, took care of a couple bugs. I still have some problems like sharing network drives and stuff like that. But anyway, when you have power outages in the house, whenever, what is a power spike? Like, you know, you have, you think about surge protectors. What is a surge? What, what does that mean? That means power, just like, like, a, like water, it, it receded. And then a huge tsunami came back and slapped the shore and, you know, knocked a bunch of buildings over. So it's like that the power went out. And then it came back with a vengeance and slammed into all those capacitors inside your power supply, and really stressed the computer out. And then most computers can handle that for a little while. Most electronic devices can handle a few of those. But the cumulative damage over time of that happening a lot, especially in areas that have dirty power, like Papillion, um, you end up with damage to your electronics unless you have a good surge protector on there. So if you, if you have a big power outage like that, a couple times it's not going not gonna to damage anything, but... We do see customers who have had cumulative damage over a long period of time have a power outage, and then they bring the computer in because it won't turn on anymore because the power supply, that, it pushed it over the edge. It's finally bad. This is one of the reasons on the modular PCs that we build at Schrock, when we build them, they only need a 250, 280-watt power supply. We could save like $1.50 a model if we just put a cheap power supply in there. Um, but instead, we put a 450-watt power supply in. Because we want to make sure you've got plenty of room for that thing to wear down over a long period of time. That's why our computers last four to six years. They're overbuilt for what you're doing with them intentionally so that they're going to last a little bit longer. So, Kathy, short version is you're going to be fine unless the, the computer, unless it, if you don't have a surge protector that's possible, you have old damage to the power supply that maybe this would push it over the edge. But most of the time you're going to be just fine. Thank you. Glad to hear it. No problem, Kathy. We'll look forward to seeing you soon in the service center, though. Okay. All right. Have a great afternoon. 402 We're going to take a quick break here, guys. We're going to take this one a little bit early since I took the last one a little bit late. And when we come back, um, we're going to tell you about 
the best of Lincoln. We're going to remind you about Safe Upgrade and go over a couple things of what we're going to talk about on the After Shrock coming up next on Compute This. If you can dream it, Shrock Interactive's website developers can make it happen. Refresh your website, automate sales and marketing, and grow your business today with Shrock Interactive. External hard drives are handy. You can back up multiple computers to them or even use them to move lots of data from one computer to another. Computer users have been buying the same old external hard drives for years. While our computers have been getting faster, we still do backups that take hours or watch epic progress bars creep by to move files. Schrock wanted more for our customers, so our innovators created the fastest external hard drives on the planet. Schrock modular storage devices are up to 50% faster than Seagate or Western Digital Externals and are modular in the truest sense of the word. We can create whatever size and speed of drive you you need for all of your needs and all modular storage devices come with a data restoration guarantee if you use our drives for backing up and your computer's hard drive fails we'll restore your backup to your repaired computer for free fast simple and flexible technology solutions from Schrock innovations it's what we do compute this pro tip 578 Technology is constantly changing, so how can you tell when the time has come to recycle your old outdated computer and invest in a new one? Experts have rules of thumb and formulas, but Schrock believes the answer is simple. You should replace your old computer when it can no longer do the things you need in a secure way. For example, you should not be using operating systems like Windows XP or Vista because they're no longer maintained by Microsoft and they're not secure. And if your computer cannot run Windows 10, it's probably time to begin saving for a replacement. If your existing computer requires a repair and that cost is 50% or more of the cost of a new computer, it might be time to consider a replacement. But keep in mind, additional costs like data transfers and important software you have to upgrade like genealogy software or Quicken. And also keep in mind that modern computers are engineered to last 18 months for a normal user. And don't worry, you are considered a normal user. Schrock modular PCs and solid-state laptops are specifically designed to last four to six years for that same normal user, saving your family money and time. This pro tip brought to you by Schrock Innovations Computer Company. All righty, guys, final segment of the program here. Thanks for joining us this afternoon or this morning, this afternoon, depending on where you're listening for Compute This. I appreciate you taking the time to be here. If you're viewing on Facebook right now at facebook.com slash Schrock Innovations or any of the affiliated stations that carry Compute This, I would ask if you have a moment, please click the share button. Uh, click that little uh, the like icon, the share button. Follow us at Schrock Innovations. When you share the show, it really helps spread the word and, and it helps us help other people. It uh, gives us a little cachet with Facebook as well. We appreciate that. 402-558-1110, 888-250-2091. Al, welcome to the program. How can I help you on Compute This today? Got a question about TikTok. Okay. I thought I heard somewhere that if you had it on your device, uh, tablet, phone, whatever, and did the uninstall, it still left stuff on your computer that could do tracking and things like that. Is my memory correct or have I got my wires crossed in my gray matter? No, that's right. It's close. So basically, like, for example, I got a new Z Fold 5 the other day, and the, the phone shipped to me from T-Mobile, and TikTok was pre-installed on the phone. When TikTok was pre-installed on the phone, TikTok was granted all basic permissions that TikTok is supposed to have to run even though I don't have a TikTok account. So therefore, TikTok running in the background on my phone can collect telemetric data on my device. It doesn't know that, well, who my device is from Adam, but if for some unfathomable reason I decide to open a TikTok account at some point on this device, that data is all saved. It says, aha, that's Thor's device. Now we know all the previous things of where Thor goes, what Thor does, who Thor works with. And further, there was a story, it was a little too technical to make it on the program today, but there was a story that I saw this for this week that uh, basically TikTok is going to ban all other e-commerce platforms from TikTok. So the only way, if you want to make money on TikTok, if you want to sell your products on TikTok, the only way you can do it is through TikTok and TikTok getting a piece of the action as the processor. Um, so, I mean, it literally, you know, they're, they're spider webbing their way, they're, they're leveraging their dominance in short form video social media into the e-commerce realm. And that's going to lead to other things going forward as well. So the best thing to do, if you don't use TikTok, and if you, you could care less about a TikTok, just make sure it's not on your phone. Uh, if you uh, long press on the TikTok icon, you can just uninstall it. 
And uh, once it's removed from your phone, once you uninstall it, at that point, there is no more tracking that's happening with the app, and you're good to go. Okay. Thank you much, guy. Hey, no problem, Al. Thank you for the call. I appreciate you joining us on the show today. Keith, welcome to the program. What can I do for you on Compute This? Yeah, I've got a problem. I've got, like, an iPhone 8S or something like that. Oh, wow. And Yeah, I know. And it's <laughs> working just fine, except I can't take pictures because it gets wavy and I really don't care about that. But the problem I have is if I try and get another iPhone, I have to get my password. Well, if I forgot or download any app, Uh, if I forgot my password, then they're going to send me an email. But my email from way back a long time ago has since expired. So I can't get any email. So do you have... I, I, I don't know what to do. Is your device currently logged into your uh, your Apple account? I don't even have an Apple account. Well, that was what the, the, pass, well, the well, password... Well, I must have an Apple account. Yeah, the password would be for your Apple account. So if your phone is currently logged into the Apple account, if you go, if you go to the website, rather than going to, uh, you know, on your device, but go to the website on a computer, and then you try to log in to your iCloud or whatever there, and you click on the I forgot my password, instead of sending you an email, there's an option there to display... On your phone, like, uh, hey, are you trying to log in? And you can click reset the password on your iPhone or your iPad or any other Apple device that you have that's signed in currently. As long as you have one device that's signed in still, you can reset the password without using the email option. Um, so it's, it's nice because you can, you can push that right to the device. So as long as the device is signed in, you still have a path forward. If the device is not signed in, then, then things get a little dice here if you don't have access to the old email. Like, they can do it at the Apple store for you, but you have to bring in like two forms of ID and a birth certificate and uh, literally a birth certificate. Um, <laughs> not joking. And, uh, and then they can reset your password for you to a, to a default password that you can then change. But you have to make an appointment okay. for the Apple store, and we can't do that one for you because, you know, we're not you. And you're, you, if you give us your birth certificate, you know, then you know, that bouncer guy at the door, we don't know what might happen. They got better better security than the southern border going on in there. I'm a little round. I might bounce very well, though. <laughs> and wavy, apparently, Keith. There you go. All right. Thank you for the call. I appreciate you joining us on the program today. 402-558-1110-888-250-2091. Bo, how can I help you today on Compute This? Yeah. Hi, Thor. Hey, I brought my uh, Endeavor just a computer into your shop on Thursday because it had a Sophos uh, event. And uh, so it's been going, well, today would be the fourth day, and I'm just wondering why it's taken so long. Which service center are you, uh, are you in, Bo? Over there by Village Point. Okay. So basically, when we, if you have Sophos on the computer and something comes up and it's saying you think you had a virus event, number one, you obviously have a virus-free guarantee with Sophos. Um, I... I can't remember the last time that a customer's computer was actually infected with, with a virus when they had Sophos on the computer. Now, sometimes there's pop-ups that come up on the screen, uh, and that's a different thing that we can take care of. Sometimes... Uh, yeah, there was, there, was, there was never a pop-up that told me. I just kind of just uh, went to there and just was checking things, and then all I've seen, I've seen it, uh, it says uh, contact IT, and then it says something mm-hmm. about... Uh, PUA or something like that. And yeah. I don't know what that means. So th- and so- that, that was a pop up. That's, uh, that's, that's what they call a fake alert. And what they're okay. trying to do is they're trying to trick you into contacting the quote unquote IT department. Um, it's just a pop up. We close them all the time over the phone for people when they, when they pop open on the screen. It doesn't matter what antivirus you run. They still get pop-ups like that, that that try to trick you, that try to socially engineer you. And what they want you to do is to install remote access Trojan software. So something that allows them to remote into your computer. Then the next step is they say, oh, look at all these problems you have. It'll only be $400. We can clean this whole thing up, give you lifetime antivirus and everything. Because so yeah, many- I never, yeah, I never did that. I just Good. Uh, disconnected it and... and uh, Took it to your shop, and uh, they said it had something to do with the an event on twenty the year twenty sixteen. So I, I don't know what that would have been. Okay. But, well, but, one of the I, things that we do is we check them really thoroughly to make sure that that there's no remote access software on there. 
Sophos blocks just about all remote access software, so they, they can't remote into your computer even if they trick you. It's one of the neat things about Sophos. Um, so, you know, we, we're pretty confident you're safe. We just have to, we're going through and making sure. But I will give a, um, we were down one guy in the Omaha Service Center this week. He, uh, he, he was in, uh, I think, was like Thailand or something for a month. I was, it was a great trip. And then he came back and, you know, then we had another guy that was out, literally out with COVID for a week. Um, so, you know, we were down a little bit, so it might just be a little bit of slower turnaround time, Bo, but I will put a word into the Omaha service center to make sure you get an update on that this afternoon. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll try to call them. And when you guys open up and at a little after noon, I guess, uh, I just, I'm missing my computer really bad. <laughs> I understand. Uh, and like I said, I'll put in a, I'll put in a mention to make sure that you get some love on that here this afternoon. All right. Thank you. Time. All right. Thank you, Bo. I appreciate you joining us on the show and listening to compute this. All right. 402-558-1110-888-250-2091. Recapping what we've talked about so far. Number one, safe upgrade. Uh, We are down to 395 or no, excuse me, 295, 295 available copies out of 600. So we've officially crossed the halfway point. So we're not going to sell out today or anything, guys, but in the next couple of weeks, it is conceivable that we will sell out. Why do we limit the number of safe upgrade copies to 600? Let's say we, this update comes out and something on Microsoft end just goes terribly sideways for everybody. Well, what's the maximum number of people that we can handle in a given you know, X amount of time that are installing this update that are having problems? And the answer is about 600. And so as people use their, their copies, their licenses, the licenses will become available again for other people to purchase. But we just want to make sure we don't get in a situation where we've sold like 5,000 licenses and then something goes sideways and we're providing terrible service to everybody because we can't keep up. We don't want that to happen. So we limit it to 600. We're a little over 50% sold out right now. You can get your copy at schrockinnovations.com. Just click on shop and then go to specials. And it'll be right there on that specials page. It's the only thing there right now. Next month, there might be a second thing there. Just a heads up there. Uh, if you listen to the Aftershock if you want the lowdown on that. Um, but uh, basically, click on shop, click on specials. You can pick up your copy of Safe Upgrade. Once again, if you're running Windows 10, you do not need to buy this. Do not purchase this if you're running Windows 10. If you try to run this on Windows 10, it will tell you, Fool, you just threw your money away. No, it'll actually say, no, you should call and get a refund because it's Windows 10. There is no update for Windows 10. If you're running Windows 11, however, this is a massive, massive update that, guys, last week it bricked my computer. I'm, I'm telling you, it, I just trusted the, because I, I get one a week, basically. And so it gets a little old. I'm not going to have the guys make me safe upgrade special editions every week. They won't get anything done. So I just use the automatic updater. And like I said, 90% of the time, it's fine. Except for the one time I did it right before the radio show. And then all of a sudden, my computer never rebooted until I got home and worked on it. Um, and that can happen to people at home, too. And if you don't know what to do when that happens, then you're bringing it into Schrock. We're dealing with a repair bill. Then we're putting an update in. It's a real big pain in the tuchus. So... If you want to get the update and get it in a safe and controlled way that gives you an insurance policy that if something goes sideways, you're not stuck with an unexpected repair bill, Safe Upgrade is the way to do that. Go to schrockinnovations.com, click on shop, click on specials, bada boom, bada bing, you're good to go. Get a copy for each Windows 11 computer you've got. Also, uh, Thursday will be the final day that you can call in. So uh, Thursday, final day that you can call in and or call in that you can enter the contest to win a free Intrepid laptop from Schrock Innovations. Go to schrockinnovations.com, scroll down underneath the rotator, click the black box there to enter the contest. Uh, Real quick, I want to make sure you stay tuned. After the show is over here, give me five or six minutes to reset, and then we will do another little show that is a Facebook exclusive called The After Schrock. During The After Schrock, we talk about all the important things in life, like update on my Mustang ETA. Why is it that Hastings Ford and Hastings, Nebraska won't sell me a dark horse? Refused. They said, your money's no good here, punk. Why did that happen to me? I was just a little perturbed. But that's okay. I let it go. I'm a bigger person. Uh, <laughs> you know, and then uh, what, ha- what happens if the UAW strikes? What are they asking for? We're going to go over that in the aftershock, too. So it's all the things that aren't computer related, but touch our lives in weird little funny ways. Today's winners, Al, congratulations, Al. You've got yourself a $25 Schrock Innovations gift certificate, and we'll see you next weekend for another exciting edition of Compute This. From the Amish Furniture of Nebraska Studio, with location.